Hello and welcome. Just yesterday I made a video about how to use App Inventor without having to log into their website using a Google account. And then on the next day I tried uh, going to their site where you can do that without logging in and it was down. It was only a local thing. Maybe it was a problem of the network I was in. But I realized that you just cannot rely on an online application. But thankfully this, this app, the App Inventor, can be used offline. And there are portable versions, which I think is very important because administrator rights are a rare thing for some situations. An impossible thing in many situations. You just need to be able to unzip a, an archive and just get going. So in this video today, we're going to look at App Inventor portable editions and how to use them to avoid bad internet connections and to avoid sharing any data outside a network possibly violating privacy rights. So what we are going to do is we're going to simply use App Inventor 2 Ultimate. It's a free download. It's still open source on uh, SourceForge. The link to this site is in the description of this video. But just downloading it is not enough because it's a bit slightly complicated to set up. On this site, I recommend you don't hit the download button, but instead go to Files, then go to AI2U 4.3, go to Portable, and here you have three options at the moment at least. Here I recommend you download a full version. Personally I have not figured out how to use the starter pack. So figure out whether your Windows has 32 or 64 bits. I'm gonna pick the 64 bit version and it's gonna take a while because it's 530 megabytes. Once the file has been downloaded just go to its folder and here right click the file and hit extract all. Hit extract and wait a little. The total size of the folder once extracted is above one gigabyte. Let's get in there. So then you have AI2U.exe. In my case, you will probably just see the icon. Just double click it and here run all AI2U server by pressing this button. Then you will have to allow firewall access to Java, I think twice possibly. And three windows will appear. One running dev app server, one running build server, and one running AI win starter. So what you can do now is press start invent, which will open this website. This is the MIT App Inventor website. Strangely enough, you have to press click here to use your Google account to log in, which makes no sense. And just use test at example.com, which is by default there and uh, press sign in as administrator and press login. And now you're logged in. Accept the terms of service and uh, here you go. Here are your projects which are none and uh, here you have the admin interface where you can go to the user admin panel. If this is intended to be a network, uh, let's say for example in a workshop room without internet or where you just not need to rely on internet or need complete privacy, Whichever it is, here you can create users. First, we're going to hit search. Strangely, users are not, are not listed unless you press search. As you can see, uh, there's test at example.com who is not an admin for some reason, even though they are allowed to be. I don't know, it's a bit confusing. Anyways, what you can simply do is add user. And now we can just go ahead and press, uh, we can enter any kind of username, for example, 01. And the password can be 01, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can hide the password for whatever reason and just press OK. And if you press search again, because it doesn't appear immediately, you can see there's zero one now. I'm just going to get another window of a different Chrome session that is also incognito and uh, use this to log in with zero one now. Zero one zero one login and it works. Uh, and you can see there's activity over here while this is going on. So yeah, now I can create without the admin panel as a user, I can create a project. For example, hello YouTube and go to OK and here you go. Add the image, uh, add the image. Yeah, there we go. Upload stuff, etc, etc. Let's get rid of that. And you can just keep adding users. Uh, can be a bit bothersome, but mm, well, there it is. Keep press searching to check which you already added. So this is going to take maybe 5 minutes for 20 users or so. No, actually less. And uh, then you're set up. 
you just need to inform your users of uh, of uh, of a passwords and the usernames. Very nice, and you can use this account, the admin account, to create projects. But I wouldn't recommend it, of course. The IP address to which people in this network need to connect, you can find it. I think this one. Let's see. No, that's not it. All you need to have is uh, your local network IP address. So that others can connect to this as well. This is mine in this case. You can see it in one of these windows, for example. Now what I think is extremely useful information, you can instantly delete or back up just the database info. You can go to AI2U, go to AI, go to WebInf, go to App Engine Generated. And here you can see these files were created just um, seconds ago, minutes ago. You can check the date and you can just delete them or you can back up them if you need for some reason to move this around the data without having to move around the whole one gigabyte of uh, yeah Java and whatnot. There's a lot of stuff in here. To shut down, you should be able to just hit stop AI to you. Everything gets closed. However, very strange, Java just doesn't die on its own. You will have to kill it manually. Just go to end task here. As you can see now, it will not load anymore. Good. Let me know in the comments if you have a, let me know in the comments if you have any other issues. So I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe to support this channel and have fun using App Inventor. See you next time. Ciao.